week. It's round 13 of the Machine Seeker EHF Champions League. The penultimate group here to take over. And he eventually gets the ball from Carlsberg and rockets that one off the post. Chance on the counter here for Magdeburg to get the scoring underway. Magdeburg punishing that Barca team for any mistake they made. Looked like he might have stood inside the six. Alex Gomez, one of the top scorers year in, year out. Carlos Bogard now to Engesson and Tamate Engesson. Looks like he's uh, focused mainly on defense here at the start. They've each other a few times in the last few years in various competitions. They haven't faced off here in the Gatec Arena in competitive action. So it's a first for many of these Barca players. And a nice goal down the right hand side. Barca, best in the world. And a lot of changes in between attack and defense, which is not always what you. Magnuson, I guess Nielsen. Uh, sends the keeper the wrong way. Cross Bogard. Oh, nicely done. Into the line, Luis Frade. And it was either going to be a goal or. And the penalty dispatched. Uh, he's really developed himself into a versatile backcourt player and needs to be when you consider his teammates for both club and country. And that's Bogard. Waiting for it in the center again from Dikam M. And it's stolen. Snatched it away. Uh, Magnus Saugstra ball alone against his fellow Dane. He puts it away. Nice counter attack goal from Magdeburg. The second. The fans getting right down and the referees here trying to put the pressure on. Ball into the line, off the crossbar. Another base on the defending inside the area that it was going to be a penalty for Alex Gomez once more. And he said, oh, Luis Frade had a free shot on goal. Well, could only find the crossbar and the ball. He's through this time. That's inside defending and a penalty. And another penalty for Omar Ingi Magnuson. Nielsen out to three meters off his line. Oh, and he just evades him. Switch for Luis Frade. Lays it off to Jonathan Korsbergard. He's the shot on for him. It's really on for him. Uh, I think the Magdeburg defenders may be trying to play with him a little bit. as a had enough accuracy and power on the shot to send it past Portner. Here he goes again. Laying it off this time and clean through. Portner gets a touch on it. Uh, Felix Clark. Morrison takes over in the center. Oh, nice pass. Overlap down the left hand side. From the right wing. That's a nice shove there, but all alone in the line. Denied. Saugstrup stopped by his fellow Dane, Emil Nielsen. Into Richardson. That's a three on two. Line all alone and save. This time, overlap down the left hand side for Magdeburg. Got off the post. Goal. He's saying, get out of my face. I'm not interested. Here we go again. Oh, nicely done. Sims the second line. Carlos Bogard. Out to Gomez. He's got enough of an angle. That's all he needs, really. Fourth of the contest. Clark drops the shoulder. He's through. He's through. And really nicely done. Douglas Petras a little bit hot. There was a traveling violation to be called against Clark. The referees didn't agree. Yet. Maybe the balancing of things in Felix Clark's favor this time. Luis Frade. Saugstrup giving a break for a few minutes at least. Clark looking for his options on the left hand side again. That one go. Things you feel can change very, very quickly. Magdeburg making their opportunities, and this is another great example of it. And this time there is a penalty called for the home side. A little bit of late contact. Perfect from the penalty line so far. Put it through the legs of Nielsen last time around. What will he do this time? Ah, he does nothing. He shoots it straight at the big left hand of Gonzalo Perez de Vargas, who makes an immediate impact. So both players get the warning. Man, nicely played. The Carls Bagar, but the attacker foul called against Dika. And a change in the backcourt with Albin Lagergren coming in as the right back. And he receives the ball in the center here, moves it on to his fellow Swede. Another save for Nielsen. Defending. And the handoff for passive play now. Mem, he's got the arm and he puts it straight through the keeper. And Hernandez was in the right spot, but and no easy solutions at the moment for Magdeburg in attack. That's much better. He's through this side and makes no mistake. Alvin Logogren on the scoreboard for Magdeburg for the first time today. And the Magdeburg fans getting frustrated. Man! Keeps him just 20 seconds left. 
on this man-up situation for Magdeburg. Uh, they can't make anything of it. A rush shot by Felix Klar. Either way, it's a Magdeburg ball. Nice ball out to O'Sullivan. He keeps it moving to Lager. Either a, a one-goal lead at halftime for Barca or a four-goal lead. Both feel equally possible with the ebbs and flows. Now the in-flight pass across, but it's saved. Valera denied by Hernandez. And away come Magdeburg. Smorrison looks for him. Smorrison looks for a gap inside. Skip pass out to the right wing. Nicely done. Across to the left-hand side. It's saved. And in comes Orino. There's a second line from the left wing. A little bit of space here. Engerson enjoys that, but it's a good save. And that he is getting some saves on the board. And if Magdeburg can score here, a one goal game, we put them in a very good position heading in. Probably a few more to come today. Engerson back out to Richardson. Mem! Oh, nicely done by Tika Mem. Absolutely nowhere. That's a goal that most players you wouldn't even think about shooting from. But that angle, not a bother for Hugren. The save at the near post by Hernandez. And away. Good Magdeburg now. Which is out to Chris Johnson. Hand up for passive play, but a simple ball into the line. Saved by Nielsen. Red. That shot like a buck. Really nicely done. Frade. And Timothy Engerson. He goes for the shot, and oh, did that go over the line? Now Frade catching him around the shoulder, so fair play. And tipped away onto the post. Rebound picked up, and into the top. Beautiful inspired play. Both be Magdeburg who get us underway with the second half attacking from right to left on your screens in the dark. Very little to choose between the sides. And both building their foundation of this game in different ways as well, which makes it all the more interesting. There's some inside defending, and the first from taking it on again. Often comes back after missing one. And he misses a second. Will he come back after that? Two penalty saves here for Gonzalo Perez de Vargas. As he was in the first. Richardson. Out to Mem. Little one-two between the left-handers. Duke Mem into the line. Friday through. Little one two between the Icelandic pair and the shot save. Camps himself in there as a second line player. Richardson, Carl's Pagar. This time, Mem goes for it. It's kept out by her. Touching that one. It doesn't matter. He forced it over the top. Oh, it's a beautiful pass inside. Luis thought yes. Referees say no, and I think rightly so. Magnusson. Oh, the pass into the line. It's going to be a penalty for Magnus Saugstra, but that was all about the pass unlocking that Barca defense. And could only hold on for dear life. And a penalty now put away at last from Magdeburg. Melvin Richardson. Carl's Bogart, he's through. Nice movement from him. And he a smart and unselfish attacker, but taking his attacking game to a new level. And his penalty. Carl's Bogart, but nothing doing here. Brilliant defending in the center. Skip pass out to the left wing. Tight angle for the shot. Movement off the ball here. Alish Gomez looking for it in the line, but it goes to Frari instead. And there. Free flowing attacking play. The first half has disappeared a little bit. Hand up for passive play. Oh, it's much better. Richardson off the post, rebound picked up by Frade. He's all over the place. No attacker foul. The goal instead. Once again, the fans are raging. Four goal lead restored for Barca. Oh, nice pass. It's a Saugstrup on the line. Rides a challenge. Well. I feel like Saugstrup is going to have a bigger part to play in this second half if they're going to come in his players' hands. It's Morrison. Sets up again, out to Magnuson. Omar Ingi Magnuson. Klar, overlap down the left. He goes through the center and off screen to Javier Rodriguez, who was just a little bit caught out there. Carl's Bagard, really nice. You want to hit Carl's Bagard, and there is the timeout for Magdeburg. And a bright end to the first half. See what kind of impact he can have here in the left back position. Way right, straight through. That's what kind of impact. Pattern of the game at the moment going between 
Three and four goals between the sides. And bounce off the position here. One more pass. Oh, a little bit of hesitation there, but the finish is brilliant. Omar Ingi Magnussen had about 8,000 people telling him, what are you doing? Chance down the center. Skip pass out, nicely done. Oh, and it's just in over the line. Felix Clark doesn't work for now. Ball over the top. Saugstrup on the break. And he beats the keeper at the near post. Magdeburg are level. Four on the trot for the home side. 21-21 on the gate. Against the champions of two or three years ago. Oh, the shot. Rockets off the crossbar and stays out. And Christian O'Sullivan tells us in the center again. Chris Johnson, he's through that. Game of the season. Tim Hornke with the penalty again. He beat Paris of Vargas last time, but not this time. Third penalty save of the contest for Gonzalo Perez de Vargas. It's Morrison. It's a Chris Johnson. He's through again. Gives the Chris magic empty net to shoot into, and Lewis. But I feel in those situations, uh, Magdeburg will enjoy this even more. And he's through again, and that proves the point. Two in a row for Gisley Chris Jansen, but for Gisley Chris Jansen, but with the. Magnuson. Trying to find space, the bounce shot, trick. Barca throwing their young right back into the mix. Now playing with his right hand, that's a little bit of a different approach. And Sika had a goal. A nice pass out to the left hand side, a penalty for inside defense. And the penalty for Gomez, fakes it once and puts it away nicely. Alex Gomez with another penalty goal, and we're level again. Drops the shoulder and lays it off to Clark, who runs into trouble. The hand is up for passive play. They're going the long way around here. And Perez of Vargas makes the same. Long way to go in this one. And you feel a few more twists and turns on the horizon. Um, and oh, how was that kept out? Porner with the stop. A little bit of help from the... Johnson in on the empty switch. Oh, nice move, man. And he sends the defense one way, then the other again. Chris Jansen his injury again during the European Championship. You hardly expect him to be at full flow, but here he is coming up with the goods, laying off that pass to Albin Lagergren. Midway through this half, but you feel like in those situations it was more the uh, court player's fault than his. Chris Jansen comes off the foot. No, it didn't, according to the referees. And chance now on the counter. Big goal for Barca and Blas Jans. Clark, he's through. Not a shot as wide to the right. And Rodriguez back in on the line. And Gaston, oh, nicely done. As he draws Barca level by the center block. Oh, not this time, though. No, he's through. Oh, the save. Perez de Vargas. With his left thigh onto the cross. About whether it was the right thing to bring Perez of Vargas in. Massive save. What a big time player. Oh, and a save down the other end from another big time keeper. Nicola Porter this time. On oh, a penalty given. He'll try to put Barca in the lead. He does exactly that with three and a half minutes left to play. And he knew it a free throw was on the way. Rodriguez, the man being targeted here, he's through Clark! Felix Clark delivers. Luz Gisley, Chris Jansen, who sets what they need in this situation. There's another man who's not afraid to take on those shots, but the shot is over the cross, taking a couple of penalties, missed one, and brought in. Let's see if he's involved. Chris Jansen, into the line! Saugstrup puts it away with an eagle eye. Sakusha, oh, what a time to pop up with your first goal of the day. The draw Barca level to go to. Let's see if they can do that. Musha lays it off. Chris Janssen! He's done! Oh, all the love from his teammates and the 7,800 fans in here from the young Icelandic playmate.